more to the Brazilian roots in his pronunciation. <laughs> At Americanized it, usually it's the reverse. Yes, usually it is. Here we go, the start Ooh. of this fight. Much anticipation. Yes, yes, yes. A lot of movement here for Joel. Gonna do because with his wrestling he can shoot and put you on your back. And Fei Zhao is gonna expect a punch, I think. Yeah, Fei Zhao, anyone that looks at this had to be curious. Romero, great wrestler, all these wins by way of knockout though. Yeah, so you don't know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a punch, it's gonna be a takedown. If Joel would be, be smart, he would go for a takedown, and then the second time. Fake it, take don't go for a strike. Well, the crowd here has seen three outstanding fights, particularly that last one with Mian defeating Santos. They want action. Look at that. They, they have not been used to a minute's pause tonight. Yeah. Romero tried here a flying left, uh, right front kick, a la Machida style. Mejiao comes in with the first punch. Shot. You can see how they move the body. Uh, a minute and a half, jumping around. People are gonna like this. Uh, oh, big high kick! It just missed. Scrapes the top of Romero's head. That means hands up. I think that's one he reason the these guys are dancing around a lot. They, yeah. you know, we know what Fejal can do, and Fejal's probably wondering what can Romero do. I think Romero is going to go maybe for a take on here. I'll nice kick. Back. Nice, strong kick by Fejal. Comes in with a Superman that misses. Fejal getting the action revved up a little more two minutes in. Fejal is going to put Romero in a little bit of trouble with those kicks. If he can keep, continue doing this, he's going to go for a take down. Doesn't want to take that risk. That right high kick is a big wake, wake upper, so to say. Well, the, some of these crowds want a wake upper right now. Yeah, we need a big high kick for that. But I got to say, with the caliber out there, I don't blame Romero for dancing around a little bit and getting the feel for this. He's only had four pro fights, and this is a tough guy to be in with for your fifth. It's, it has to be his toughest fight. Fejal, 10 wins, nine of those by way of knocking. So we know his punching ability. And maybe the crowd knows it as well, and they want to see that big punch right now. We wonder what Romero's strategy is, though, boss. <laughs> He's been about a half a mile in the cage right now. Body shot, she followed it up now. Same thing, left the body right hook to the head. Most of the time, when you throw the first punch really hard, and the second time when you do it, they're gonna block it. They're gonna go, no, 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 I got it. But that sets him up for the hook to the head. Romero hasn't landed a punch, has he? No, not yet. Right now, the first round would go to Fei Zhao. In a minute 20 seconds go, so. Fei Zhao again, the big, that would have a big swing and a miss for this, the place of the oldest professional baseball team in America. The old Cincinnati Red Legs got it all started. That looked like one of those swings for the homer, you know, when the guy just misses, but he swings big anyway. Fei Zhao might have been doing it just to get the crowd a good pulling. You know, and just to let him know that, uh, watch out for me. I got more weapons. Romero comes in and every nice time kick, he Nice kick, Oh, Romero is so hard on his feet. Like, it's like Dominic Cruz dancing around so yeah. light. Well, I mean, for a light heavyweight, it's amazing to see this. Yeah. If you were going on style, Romero would be doing great in this fight, but he's doing nothing else. He's not doing anything. Okay, they're going to get one. If you're not going to fight, you're going to get point right here. Romero getting the warning here from Dan Mergliotti. Something happened, something else? Or something along those lines. What's he looking at? I don't remember seeing that. I thought it was going to go for him. Oh. I don't know if he's 
tell him to pick it up or not? I don't know. No, he should have, I think. I oh, thought he was at first. Now he's taunting. Interesting that a man who's yet to throw a punch would taunt. Yeah. But he's doing that with 18 seconds to go in what has been a tepid first round. Thank goodness that Fajal has swung a few big kicks in there, or we would all fall asleep, perhaps. Romero now going to try to get the takedown. Oh. Doesn't get it. Fajal pops right back up. That's a big warning there for Romero. That and means I'm not going to take you down that easy. First round comes to an end, and you can uh, pretty much figure it out by the response from the crowd. Punch is very, very strong. Fajal's okay. Comes right back. I was going to end. I should kick him in the face. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in what this style would be, boss. I don't know. You know, we want to see something that actually works. And I don't know. She's setting him up for something. So let's just wait. It is. It, it, obviously, a Toby Maguire move. Fajal almost co He knocks himself down with that kick. Lost his balance. Pops right back up. Romero flies in with the knee for the first time. He tries to get some action going here in the second round. Ooh. Misses with that big swing. Great take down defense skin here. And Romero, Fajal. look at this. He's been playing possum. And here he tries to unleash something finally in the oh. second round, and he's got something to throw. Whoa, big, big brawls, big brawls, but he's got to pick his shots. Fajal is doing that. He's picking his shots. Fajal and again, covering up right now. Romero can goes to the body, tries to work the head, and Fajal swings his way out of it. Romero just needs to connect one time. He's got to watch out. Great takedown, but then again, there's the fence. And you're back up. And you don't have that fence with wrestling. And that's the problem. Fajal a little winded right there. Yeah. <laughs> looking, looking to the sky, looking to the ceiling to catch his breath. Because he's probably wondering, like the rest of us, where you been for the first round and a half of this fight? Yeah, you see, it's totally by surprise. So it could have been all the game plan. Like I said, you know, let's see what he does with this crazy moves, those antics. What is he called, the soldier of God? That's his nickname? I don't know. Romero should be the Cuban possum. <laughs> he keeps fighting like this. What is that? You can tell. Very light, looks very good. Just to work a little bit on his striking to Got land some punches. quick hands, has he? Yeah, he does, but you know, he doesn't land them. Right. You know, and he, he mixes them up. These are all hooks, 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 yeah. hooks. You know, that is like the, the basic hook so thing. You start throwing straights and hooks and mix those up with head and body. You know, you open a whole new package there. And then the guy with his ability, ooh, you should think it's going to be a nice kick by Fajan. Again, you see yeah. Romero taunts a bit, tries to go in. Take down the fence again here. Can't get Calvaconte down. Do look at this. Who's the wrestler here, he says. Who's the wrestler? Fajal is right now. Wow, that's a silver medalist there. He did that pretty easily. But that's, of course, I don't think that Romero expected that. You know, he never expected to go for a take, huh? I think the second time will be harder to do. So he does all swings. He needs to go, start loading up, and make straight to the body, and then go for the hat. He's in great shape, though, because he's not slowing down. Romero. Nice elbow there. You see, but again, all hooks. Just learn enough to get with that also. Up got the hooks in the straight. Oh, that's almost all the basic punches, actually. Under a minute to go in the second round. At last, some action taking place in this round is Joel Romero. Some swinging, some actual attempts at takedowns, and uh, certainly everything he didn't do in the first round, he was trying to do in the second round. Yeah, but what well, well, we should forget here also, he's fighting a guy, high caliber fighter, and he had only four fights. You know, he, he gets pulled real fast, but he's doing actually, you know, until now, he's doing a great job. Oh, oh, he got him on the swinging back fist. Fajal stuns Romero, he's down. Fajal delivering the blows. Fajal with his best punch of the night. Oh, and Fajal right hurts him. Fajal has him staggered, has him down. Fajal puts it away. Whoa! That was awesome! Fajal is back with a vengeance. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, man. He is just waiting for the right moment to deliver that shot and out of nowhere. 
You see, that's what I said with controlling the punches. Romero wasn't doing that, throwing everything, throwing everything, and, and just face out was picking his shots. And I tried to uh, kick him on the head, like three times, you know. He always move around. That time he stay, I do a spinning fish. Uh, I hit him, I saw when he felt, and I coming over. How frustrating was it to fight a guy that wouldn't engage and really dance around the entire first round? Uh, that's, uh, when I step up here, guys, I say that for the crowd. I do this for you guys here, you know? I'm here to put on a good show.